I'm living my dream. Hope you guys are also living your dream. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Um, I am, I have been digging up some more newspaper clips that are just pretty damn funny. <laughs> I tell you, if I was a professional like this, I find it hard to believe that I could make these kind of mistakes. And don't they have editors? I've, I've mentioned this. Aren't there people who reread what happened? And they still come out with the craziest stuff ever it's amazing but uh, we're gonna get right into it but before we do um, if you haven't already please take a moment to like share and subscribe I'm um, doing a bigger things about to be hopefully get this get this channel off and running or at least walking fast I don't know but anyway so these first few are just corrections and as you can see this first one Due to incorrect information received from the clerk of court's office, Diane K. Merchant, 38, was incorrectly listed as being fined for prostitution in Wednesday's paper. The charge should have been failure to stop at a railroad crossing. The public, a public opinion apologizes for the error. How do those two get mixed up? I am completely at a loss. I was she I, did they think she was prostituting at the railroad crossing? I don't know. Those are two completely different charges, like way different. And somehow it made it to the paper that this poor poor Diane, you know, she probably showed up at work on Thursday and they was like, "Girl, <laughs> You moonlighting or what? You know, you got to feed your kid. Times are tough. I get it. But damn, that's crazy. This next one, also a correction. In a recipe for salsa published recently, one of the ingredients was misstated due to an error. The correct ingredient is two teaspoons of cilantro instead of two teaspoons of cement. Now, I realize this was definitely probably a typo due to autocorrect or something, but my question is, how many people tried it? <laughs> how many people put cement in their salsa? Who was reading that and thought, huh, maybe that's why my salsa never sets up right. I'm missing the cement. Better run out and get me some. Cletus, bring that bag of cement in here. Why would you ever think... <laughs> This was not a typo. I don't know. And maybe no one did try it, but as I deal with stupid people all the time, all signs would point to yes. Someone probably definitely tried to do this. And wow. Mm. Oh, our next error. Our next error. A headline on an item in the February 5th edition of the Inquirer Bulletin incorrectly stated stolen groceries. It should have read homicide, homicide, stolen groceries. Wow, what a difference. You know, <laughs> you know, Ian Court, like, I, I didn't kill anybody. I stole some groceries. I'm sorry, man. I'm trying to feed my family, not kill them. Homicide, it should have been homicide. This is the front, like, a headline. Somebody accused of stolen groceries. Life in prison or something. You know, people was like, damn, they're cracking down on that theft. Good Lord, no. Homicide, stolen groceries. Those aren't, this isn't like cilantro and cement. These don't even start with the same words, or the same letters. This, wow, I don't know. I don't know. I know I'm about to become a writer for the newspaper, because apparently you can just do whatever. This one's pretty funny. 
It is also very blurry, but I will read it. 6.12 p.m. So these are apparently like the police blotters. 4700 block Portside Drive, Vermilion. Man put Icy Hot on wife's vibrator. Divorce pending. <laughs> like, what in the hell? How does this even end up in the newspaper? Why? Why would this end up... Who calls the cops on this? Who? Who? Like, what woman would... I mean... I, mm, you, you, I guess all your pride gone once you got Icy Hot in the JJ. I probably would call the police, too. At least my gynecologist. I don't know. Maybe that's a... Hopefully that's a mishap. I don't know. Icy hot on your vibrator, man. And why? I, I guess they were already probably not getting along. That would be my guess. This one, okay. So, <laughs> psychic arrested again. Still didn't see it coming. This is fantastic on so many levels. Like, okay. If you are a psychic, obviously you would know if you're getting arrested. If you are a psychic or even a normal human being, if you break the law all the time, you should probably see it coming. You should know you're going to probably get arrested. And, uh, mm, I don't know, you might want to tap into your clairvoyance when you're breaking the law. I just feel like, even not a psychic, like, if you're breaking the law, maybe you should see the arrest coming, even if you don't have powers from, a, you know, beyond. Seems a, little, seems a little odd to me, but what do I know? What do I know? This is fantastic. Medical marijuana delivery man attacked by ninjas. <laughs> I... <laughs> oh, all right, give me a minute. Okay. So, police say two people in ninja costumes robbed a medical marijuana delivery man, but it's not clear how much money or marijuana was taken. <laughs> Guys, this is, come on. So this guy that delivering medical marijuana apparently decided to try some or something, and it was probably really good because now he imagined that ninjas done attacked his ass. At the end, so after, you know, it goes, it goes on to explain, but at the end it says... The lieutenant says he knows of no other ninja-style thefts recently. Um, yeah, because that would probably stick out in your mind. Why? Ninjas are out stealing the weed, guys. Out stealing the weed. And what's funny is right under it is this health column. Huh. But it's, I, what in the world? So, ninjas are stealing the medical marijuana. Maybe they're, maybe they're it's like a Robin Hood situation. I don't know. Oh, guys, this is great. And I just really quick, I would like to say I would never like I don't talk smack on people, especially people who struggle with a, a like a language, a new language. I can't speak. I'm not bilingual by any means. And if I was, you know, trying to teach a second hand language, I could see where I could stumble on it a bit. But I'm not sure I would pull out a whole ad that says, shamed by you English. You can speak soon and write like a graduate college if me let you help you for 15 minutes. Oh, help you for a day of 15 minutes. I'm not sure that's going to happen. <laughs> I mean, I could be wrong. And apparently he is, he, does, he works at a university for language. Shamed by you English. Mm. You can speak soon. <laughs> you can speak soon. And write like a graduate college if me let you help for a day of 15 minutes. If me let you help. So he's not even saying let me help you. He's saying I will let you help me for 15 minutes of just one day. I don't know if it's one day or every day. I'm not sure how this is supposed to work. But uh, although college graduates are getting dumber and dumber. So I mean, you know, maybe you could write like a speak and write like a college graduate. Uh, but this last one, I tell you what, guys, if I buy this paper and I see this, I'm throwing this paper away. I'm going back. I'm getting my money back, period. So, yeah, deaths. Deaths are coming. <laughs> what the fuck? Are, are you hanging out with the psychic? How do you know that? I, deaths are coming. And, of course, deaths are coming. I guess that's pretty easy to 
you know, relate to. Deaths are coming out all day, every day. But that's creepy, dude. If I buy a paper and that's what it says under deaths, deaths are coming. I'm taking that paper back. I'm not buying it. Nope. You're giving me my 75 cents back for sure. Because I am not going to be threatened by your newspaper, sir. I'm not. I'm not. Are you threatening me? My guy. Why are you threatening me? I don't know what's happening. But anyway, that's it for those for the day, guys. I hope you liked them. I did. I find these hilarious. I don't know why I'm easily entertained. But anyhow, uh, if you did like it, please smash that like button. And as always, please like, share, and subscribe. And uh, until I dig up some more fun stuff, uh, I'll see you guys later. Until next time, love you. Bye.